Hi, this is Mahabeli from the American University in Cairo here in Egypt. Hi, I'm Mia Zamora uh, from Kane University in New Jersey in the States. And my daughter Hoda is joining us, but she's going to jump in a little bit later. So what we're going to do in this video uh, is talk about different ways of um, having students introduce themselves in the beginning of, of a semester. Uh, you may think that the easiest way to do it is to just have everyone talk about themselves for a minute at the beginning of class. And that could work. It just takes a long time and some people could be shy to do it. And it's also impermanent. So the kinds of ways that I'm going to suggest here um, will work asynchronously and they have a lot of value beyond just being an introduction. And I'm going to give you an idea for an asynchronous, for, a, for an actual synchronous one later. So the first one um, is one, um, I co-created this one with Sarah Honeychurch and Kevin Hodgson for an online uh, MOOC-like thing we were doing a few years ago, and then we reused it for Equity Unbound, which Mia and I co-facilitate. Uh, and it's called the Alternative CV. And the idea behind it is that you ask someone to introduce themselves on their own terms. So the regular CV has particular categories that you have to fill in to impress a particular employer, but those categories hide a lot of who you are. And I'll show you mine and explain to you why, why I feel like this is a huge deal. So I like it, this invitation to students. So the description of it, I'm gonna share my screen, um, show you the description of this activity and two samples of my alternative CVs. Um, it's about choosing your own, you know, how you represent your story to others. Um, and we tell them, you know, things that are not usually things that you would put on a CV, like making a long-term friend through a MOOC or being noticed or recognized by someone really important, like a celebrity or someone who's like you look up to. Um, doing or writing something that inspires others to remix and create something creative, or even finding an unrelated shared interest like knitting, ukulele, um, you know, things that don't normally count for grades or for promotion or tenure for faculty, um, or, you know, for the in the regular ways that people count things, but they matter to you. And they may not matter to anyone else, and that's totally okay. Um, and so, for example, I am going to show you my alternative CV. Um, let me put it in presentation mode. So for example, I do this word cloud that shows different aspects of my character. And if you notice, like lifelong learner is all over it. And then all of the other ones uh, come up. And it's just to remind people that I'm more than one thing. Uh, and some of those things like being uh, a writer is not necessarily something that all uh, teachers do, that I'm a mother and it, it influences who I am as a teacher as well. And so all of those different things. Um, the other thing is that, for example, when I, if you look at the bottom part of the screen, bottom right of the screen, I talk about finishing my PhD while caring for my toddler and my country within political upheaval. On my CV, I don't have space to say that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> On my CV, I can only say that I'm, uh, I did a PhD in that time period and that was the thesis topic and that's pretty much it, unless I got an award for it, which I didn't. Um, but then, for me, doing a PhD while I had a toddler is a significant achievement. Um, so that's why, I'm, that's why I wanted it there. Things like that. So some of them might be things that you would say somewhere else. If you'll see at the top over here, there's a, a tweet by a colleague that I, uh, you know, I really respect, Rajiv Jangani, and he says really nice things about me. So I wanted to keep that. I don't normally have a space to put this kind of thing on my CV either, especially that it's in a tweet, not in like an official space. Um, and for example, I was uh, selected for inclusion in a coloring book. Nobody understands what this means, what kind of honor it is, but it's a really big honor for me. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so so that's, that's the kind of thing. Um, I'm also the co-founder of Virtually Connecting. That does kind of get into my CV, but not a lot of people realize that this is like one of the most important things I've done in my life. So. Anyway, so that's just an example here. Um, I'll show you one more example. And we tell students, you know, when they're going to do the all CV, it's not just that you choose whatever you like as um, what you write, but also the format, right? So I use Google Slides mm -hmm. to make a picture. They could do anything. They could do a video, and some of them do. This is an example of a, a <laughs> can with who I am. I, I learned this one from Ellen uh, Levine, actually. And so you see, I'm a mom, but 200% of my daily, the daily value of a mom, because moms always feel like you're doing two people's jobs just to be a mom. Mm -hmm. um, and then how much of your life is teaching, and I'm a faculty developer, and blogging. And so anyway, so I just put a lot of things that are me. And I put the music lover and singer as 100% because I sing along around all day, for example. Uh, <laughs> and look at this ingredient. 
resilience, love, openness, whatever. And you can do whatever you like here again. So uh, it just gives people room to be creative and to do something very different than what they would uh, normally do. So that's one uh, alternative CV. Mia, do you have any comments on this? Have you used it with your students or have you seen the alternative CVs of other people? Yes, I remember doing it in um, CL MOOC, which is, um, you know, one of the, the spaces. Unintroductions? That yes, that's exactly right. We called them unintroductions, which is sort of undoing the expectation of um, professional achievement and then emphasizing, um, you know, your best self in your own terms. Um, the things that mean a lot to you that you want other people to know about you. And I think that's the gist of it in a way, is, is getting that across and that leaves more of an impact and more of a memory for others in getting to know you in the beginning of some sort of journey um, learning together. And I think you also, it's, it's a more thoughtful process like to introduce yourself with time to decide what you want to say about yourself. Mm -hmm. It's in itself a critical thinking, I think, process, but also a creative process. And it's more comfortable because you have time to edit it and decide. You know, sometimes when you introduce yourself, you say something, you think, oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. So that gives you the opportunity. <laughs> yeah. And also, yeah. it gives the, re the recipient time to engage with who you are um, and come back to it later. Like me as a teacher, I can go back later to try to remember who that student was. You know, the beginning when you're still learning their names. Um, and some of them might use photos of themselves. Some of them might use pictures that represent them. I, I never ask them to necessarily use their photos for this. Um, and that also brings me to another idea that you can do, which is asking students to just post either a video introducing themselves or um, an image with some text in some sort of grid space, like a Padlet or a Flipgrid or like a Google document, they put stuff, or even on a discussion forum in your LMS. Right, so I'm gonna pause here for a second. Oh, that you have your hand up. Did you wanna say something? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. I can't hear. All right, the collaborative introductions are coming up next. This is one of my favorite activities that I do in face-to-face, -face, and I think it works okay online as well. Uh, you could ask people to contribute uh, via the chat as well as orally to make sure that it's not too noisy. And the, the basic idea of it is when every person introduces themselves and then stops and then it's someone else's turn to speak. Once you've introduced yourself, you relax and maybe you zone out and you don't listen to everyone else. Or when you're waiting for your turn, you're bored until it's your turn. And then online to take turns is there's no circle. So do you do it alphabetically, do you do it whatever. And so what I, what I do is I ask, I introduce myself first and I ask people to say what they have in common with me. And then I, either I call out the next person or we do it alphabetically or whatever. And then the next person says some things about themselves and uh, we're gonna do it now. All right, so I'm gonna unmute Toda so that she can join in with us. Uh, what's not working, she has to unmute herself. Okay, but she can also like the other students can contribute in the chat as well as orally. So the first thing I'm gonna say about myself that I know some other people have in common with me is that my father was a medical doctor. So if you have something, can you raise your hand? Who else has a father who's a medical doctor? Hoda, that's you too. Hoda, raise your hand. You yeah. <laughs> so people can either do a raise hand or raise their physical hand, or if they're not, they don't have their cameras on, they can type in the chat. Okay, so that's one thing about me. I'm also Egyptian. Is anyone else here Egyptian? Is anyone else here Egyptian? Oh, my daughter is, but I think she's frozen. Yeah, I think she froze, but Hoda is. <laughs> yes, and then I'm a university professor. Yeah, there she is. She raised her hand. Oh, I'm, I'm, a, university I'm a university professor, professor too. too. Yeah. And I like to write. I love to write. Yeah. Do you like and to I write? I love to sing. I love to sing too, even though I'm not good at it. Hoda's very good at it. <laughs> okay, and then I would ask someone else uh to say something about themselves so maybe Hoda, do you want to say something about yourself and we'll see if someone has it in common with you i think her internet is kind of slow um okay yeah, my cousin. cousin is a born in, born in america her cousin yeah, is born in america yeah that a lot of oh i have a cousin who's born in america <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, and Mia, do you want to tell us one thing about yourself and see if one of us has it? Um, I'm a mom. Yeah, I'm a mom. <laughs> Okay, so you see kind of like how this, first of all, you get to know a lot of different things about the people rather than just their name, their major, where they're at. Mm -hmm. uh, you get to learn different things. And obviously after a while, like you get to know a lot of times students talk about their hobbies, like playing music or sports. And as a teacher, if someone says, I'm a basketball player, I just say, who else plays sports? So first of all, people will say if they play basketball, but I also add like play any other sport and then mm -hmm. that way we make sure that the next time someone's not going to be talking about sports because we already talked about that maybe we talked right. about music so when when we talked about loving to sing sometimes I ask does anyone play an instrument you know mm -hmm. and that way we learn a lot and I think it also gives the impression to students that you care about who they are as a whole person and not mm -hmm. just um, mm -hmm. the regular stuff that relates to their academia and their grades and it helps me for example um, as I find group work projects to say, hey, a lot of you are musicians, you can put music into your uh, project presentation. Yeah, I okay, love so this. Which one, which one of these would you use, Mia? Well, I was just going to say I love this one because I think it points out commonalities that people have and then unique things that people have. So you could admire a musician, but be yourself an athlete, athlete you know, and, and so I love that because you see the commonality, but you also see um, differences. So that's great. Um, I think I... Um, really like the alt cv to be honest with you and i think it's because it's a little bit of a reflective project where it um you know it helps center yourself into thinking about what you really want to bring forward to a new community and share about yourself um and it takes a little bit of time you know it's um, a reflective time so um i like that one yeah yeah how about you um i like all of them that's why i mentioned them. yeah 